Hola, Osla here from Simply Cuba Tours. I wanted to touch base with you today with regard to the best time to travel to Cuba. It was a great reminder having a couple of days not being able to talk to my partner because of comms being basically washed out, blown away, whatever you want to say, due to cyclones slash hurricanes, depending on where you're coming from as to what you may call it. Um, so it has given me a nudge to say, when is the best time to travel to Cuba? So basically not October to the end of November because that is one the wet season so it tends to be rather humid, rather wet and it's also the time of the hurricane season when most of the hurricanes hit the island. So you can find yourself without electricity, you can find yourself without power and if there is a lot of damage you can also find yourself stuck in certain places. So that's not to put you off but it is certainly a consideration when you're making travel plans. Um, the dry season actually starts from December to May when the weather is absolutely beautiful. It's somewhere between 25 and 31 degrees during the day uh, which makes it very nice, balmy, comfortable beautiful beach weather if you ask me. You can enjoy all activities, everything is open and even night time the temperatures are around 21 to 25 degrees so it's quite comfortable just to get out and about in your shorts and t-shirts. Um, in saying that obviously December and January is winter in the northern hemisphere and it's summer holidays in some other parts of the world so you may find that the cost of airfares and things like that might increase at this time of the year and it is definitely a busy period so if you wanted to travel at this time you will have to book ahead. Um, June is when the wet season actually starts um, in the NT here in the Northern Territory they would actually call it the build-up. So initially the wet season starts with being very humid, very uncomfortable, not necessarily raining which makes it a little bit worse if you ask me because everything just sticks to you. Um, but it's great for cleansing the pores and give you beautiful skin. Um, and then it is the wettest which means the, uh, lots and lots of rain is coming between August and October so some of the activities you might have wanted to do might not be available um, but again there is a whole other beauty to this time of the year so you know just giving you this information it's just basically to consider what is it that you're interested what is it that you wanted to be doing what time of the year you wanted to travel, would you be able to do those activities or would you re need to reconsider either the activities or the time of your booking. So if you have any questions please reach out or drop a line and we can walk you through the beautiful weather in Cuba and how best to plan for your next travel. Catch you soon!